Good Tuesday morning. Today we're still in the wonderful words of life in the Bible in John chapter 11. And I want to read something that I think is quite interesting. If you'll remember, Jesus has raised Lazarus from the dead. And what a wonderful thing that would have been. But the Pharisees and the, and the priests were very concerned about this. And listen to what they said, uh, beginning in verse 47 of John chapter 11. Therefore the chief priests and Pharisees convened a council, and they were saying, they were talking to one another, What are we doing? For this man is performing signs, and if we let him go on like this, all men will believe in him. And the Romans will come and take away both our place and our nation. Isn't that interesting? Jesus had done the most wonderful thing in the world. He had raised Lazarus from the dead. People had gathered around. They were mourning the loss of this good man. And all of a sudden he comes to life. And those on the periphery, these Pharisees who couldn't quite understand Jesus, finally come to this conclusion. They said, if we let this guy keep going, we're going to lose our place and our nation. That's what they said. Uh, they were using illogic, if you will. Instead of rejoicing that Jesus was there and, and was doing these miracles and providing a revelation of God's uh, will and God's way, they, they were repulsed by this because they didn't want to lose their status. You know, a lot of people continue to think that way about Christianity. In fact, we see in our culture this very thing going on. Why? If these Christians get their way, uh, they're going to change the way we have to look at marriage. They're going to change the way we have to look at gender. They're, they're not going to allow us to abort babies anymore. If these Christians have their way, we're going to lose our place. We better do something about it. That's why there's so much pressure on people who are believers today. That's why people don't want you to say anything about Christ anywhere, at the workplace or anywhere else. That's, that's why people are so offended when a Christian tells the truth because they are living in a lie. And they're saying, we're going to lose our place. We're going to lose who we are. We're not going to be able to have any fun anymore. We're not going to be able to have, think like we think anymore. And the Bible says that the truth of the gospel is foolishness to the world. It's absolute absurdity. And we know the difference. The world is upside down and Jesus puts it right side up. Let me, tell, let me encourage you today. You understand that people will never believe what you believe until the Holy Spirit convicts them of their sin and they get saved in Jesus Christ. But don't ever give an inch to the truth. It doesn't matter what people think about us. It doesn't matter about uh, whether they think we're you know, right or not. What matters is what God has revealed to us. And we live in a society where we need to keep the gospel strong no matter what it costs. No matter what it costs us. Let people rail against us if they will. Let's follow Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. And understand that people, until they're saved, until they see the light of Christ, will never appreciate or believe what we are and who we are. Be strong today. Heavenly Father, we pray that you would give us the strength to represent you every day, no matter what people think and no matter what people do. For we have found in Christ the way, the truth, and the life. And it's in his name we pray. Amen.